So we've had the Air Jordan 4 Thunder, the Air Jordan 4 Red Thunder, and now the Air Jordan 4 White Thunder, which I personally think is the best out of the bunch so far. Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look and breakdown on the Air Jordan 4 White Thunder. But before we get started, if you could do us a big favor and hit the subscribe button if you have not done so already, and only do so if you actually like our content. I'm hoping that you do. Leave a like or a dislike as well as a comment. Stay tuned for the question of the day. Those are always fun. And also, if you like this shirt, today's the last day to pre-order. The last day. And then it's gone forever. So if you haven't already done so, head over to senseapparel.com before it's too late. And last but not least, today's video is brought to you guys by the good folks over at Soul Premise. They provide premium or luxury style bags, but the catch is is that they are all catering towards sneaker lovers. <gasps> They have a wide variety of different options and different materials and different colors. So as an example, this guy right here is just their daily commuter bag. This is essentially just a regular backpack, but the difference is that they can hold two pairs of shoes in there up to size 15. Excellent. I personally love these bags because when I go on short trips, I'm able to wear one pair and then stick a secondary pair inside of the shoe storage. And then instead of opting to throw in a third pair of sneakers, that's where I actually put my clothes. And then when I'm going on longer trips, this bag right here is what I typically like to use. It holds up to five pairs of shoes. On top of all of that, these bags are TSA approved. They can fit underneath the seats or in your overhead compartment. This particular one is made out of polyester instead of a more premium leather. So there's different options and varieties depending on what you want. Last but not least, this is my favorite bag and the one that I use all the time, mostly because, well, we're gym rats here and I also test shoes for a living. And this bag right here lets me do all of that stuff all at once. This is a brand brand new version of their gym bag where this one is decked out in premium goodness and I'm not going to bring this one with me because I don't want to ruin it and get it all wet and sweaty. So instead I bring this one. But the good news is, is that they both fit four pairs of sneakers, which is amazing. If you have your testing shoe, then your backup shoe, and then maybe there's a backup for the backup and by chance maybe a backup for that. I don't know. What I like to do is fill it up with three pairs and then my leftover compartment has my change of clothes, deodorant, my water bottles, a basketball pump, and then for my AirPods and whatever else I might be bringing there's a ton of storage options for that too. So for whatever your needs are, Soul Premise has probably got you covered. So if you're interested, make sure that you click the link down below in our description box. It'll send you over to Soul Premise's website, soulpremise.com, where you can check out all the variety of different options, all the different colors, what's on sale, all that kind of good stuff. But anyways, this is the box that the shoes come in. Fairly standard for typical new colorways of the Air Jordan 4, at least as of late. They do match the overall scheme or theme of the shoe. Do it's they? Just, they do, because the Air Jordan 4 featured the splatter print. I know, but so I that, don't see any splatter print. It's white. On the shoe? Oh no, it's not on the shoe. That's what I was about to say, is that it's not on the shoe. So that's the only weird part, but I don't care that much. It just looks greasy. That's fine. It's just going over there. It's, he's going on my feet. But as far as the shoes are concerned, like I was saying before, they're basically just a new variation of an original retro plus style colorway, which were originally known as the Thunders. There was the Thunder and the Lightning Pack, and then there was a Rare Air version as well that had a Rare patch on there, which apparently they are redoing, but in new colors next year. So we'll see how that goes. But these guys right here are a simple black white shoe. Personally, I don't think you could go wrong with this. This is just a great look. And on top of that, the netting isn't white. It's the mesh behind it. And while that can get dirty and it'll be a pain in the ass to clean, at least it won't yellow. Well, not anytime soon anyways. But yeah, the outsole on these guys, standard Air Jordan 4 outsole, nothing really to write home about. You got herringbone in there and it's in multi-directional fashion. Instead of the Nike branding, we do have the Jumpman branding. And then moving on up is a polyurethane midsole with an encapsulated four foot air sole unit and a visible air sole unit in the rear. And as far as the midsole itself, it's very firm. Like this is a brick of a shoe. Sometimes they're very comfortable or at least moderately comfortable. And no, I'm not talking about the Nike SB Jordan 4. That's a different beast altogether. That was actually made by a different department within Nike itself. So it wasn't made directly by the Air Jordan squad or whatever, you know what I mean? Like the people in the Air Jordan building is made by the Nike SB people. Well done. 
And then the insole is Dream Cell. So again, nothing special. They could have fixed that with a polyurethane insole. However, you can remove that and swap it out for anything that you'd like. The Move All Day insole is a great option. However, Move has a brand new insole coming and it is for casual use. I'm probably not supposed to say this, but we've been testing it. And it doesn't have the arch plate and it's super comfortable. You guys are gonna like it. Shut up and take my money. Now the materials are nothing special. It's basically a new buck. Is it completely synthetic? Yes and no. The top coat is definitely synthetic. However, the paneling themselves might have traces of animal in there, so just be careful if you are a vegan sneakerhead, and yes, there are vegan sneakerheads, you might want to steer clear of this. Normally, if they don't feature any actual like raw materials, there will be a sticker saying that the shoe features synthetic materials, and that's not featured here. I was a little surprised. It feels cheap. It's very similar to the previous two releases, so the Thunder and the, the Red Thunders. It's not quite as ashy looking as uh, the Red Thunders were, but just keep in mind that this stuff does scuff easily. When I pulled them out of the boxes, the toes specifically were just rubbed to high hell because of the placement, you know what I mean? Like when they're in the box, they're kind of like this, and these little heel tab things just chewed the shit out of the toe areas. It was like super weird. I tried to like smooth it out with my fingers and with a little bit of a brush. It worked kind of. So in the main B-roll, I think that you won't really be able to notice. But if you see this line right here, and then if I bring it up here, there's more right there. This was all over the toes and stuff. So some people are not going to like that. This is one of those shoes that they should have double wrapped so that they were separated in the box, but they didn't. The overall shape is very similar to the new shape of the Air Jordan 4s that was introduced with the Nike SB Air Jordan 4. And they fit very similar too. So go true to size. Whatever you typically wear in your Air Jordan 4s, that's exactly what I would go with. Just know that these materials materials are a little bit stiffer because again, they're a little bit cheaper, especially when compared to like the Nike SB or the bread, like the, the modern bread where it's all leather. Those just feel and fit a lot different. This is a little bit more similar to the militaries where the materials are stiff, but the militaries break in really nicely. This synthetic stuff sometimes does and sometimes doesn't. It's, it's a weird material. It's not my favorite, but it gets the job done for a colorway like this. But like I was saying, the overall shape is the same. So you do have the widow's peak at the toes and things like that. So if you like the way that those modern Air Jordan 4s look, which is supposed to be closer to the 1989 original, then you're in luck. They're right here. <laughs> Flight patch on the tongue looks awesome. The heel tab, for those of you guys wondering, is not super soft and rubbery. Uh, like I was saying before, in the box, it nearly destroyed the toe box areas. So yeah, it's a little stiff, but nothing out of the ordinary as far as an Air Jordan 4 is concerned. Jumpman branding on the heel because it's not an original colorway or a collab or some random model like the, the ones that are like the 6, 7, and 8s. Those had Nike on the back. The Jordan 2 slash 3's got Nike Air somewhere on there. I think it was on the bottom. They're so weird with their sh Not that I mind that it's Jumpman back there. I think the shoe just looks great. So yeah. It is what it is. But anyways, with all that being said, what do we happen to have for today's question of the day? With both being essentially the same, which would you rather eat? Ravioli or tortellini? Slash tortelloni. I just had to look up the difference. They're like different? They are different. What's a tortelloni look like? Tortelloni. Are they like just giant is tortellini? slightly larger. Okay, that's cool. And if you cook them, they're like supposed to be different. Like one's in water, one's in cream. All right, well, I like both. The texture of a tortellini is a little bit, got a little bit more chew to it, you know what I mean? So I like that, but I really like the different fillings in raviolis, like sometimes I like the meat filling, sometimes I like the, the cheese, sometimes I like the cheese with the, the spinach. Honestly, you can't go wrong. And yeah, so you can have the same stuff in the tortellinis, I know. I'm just saying the textures are a little bit different, you know what I mean? So yeah, when, when we cook it, we usually cook both. Mm -hmm. Or at least I do. But yeah, what, what do you, do you prefer any, either or? I like both, but I am team tortellini slash tortelloni. Why? Because you can put them in your mouth in one bite. Raviolis, you have to like sit there and cut them. And they make me to. sad when they deliver them to you. Like if you get them at a restaurant, you're like, cool, I got five raviolis. <laughs> That's the serving size. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, and I'm yeah. like, cool, is this an appetizer? <laughs> I will say that fried raviolis are bomb. Mm. Like, I, I remember trying that for the first time and being like kind of blown away by it. I was like, holy sh**, these are good. Do you prefer cheese fillings or the meat fillings or it doesn't matter? I like cheese with like spinach and stuff inside. Okay, white sauce, red sauce? White sauce, always. Mm. It depends. Do you even know me? <laughs> I'm trying to uh, boost engagement here, okay? Do you know me? So you're Mr. I'll have a cheeseburger or spaghetti at restaurants, I mean. It depends on where we go. I do have what I order. Yes. I do like trying new shit. 
too, though. At home, definitely. I'm saying like if we go out, though. Well, yeah, because if I'm going to a place, I want what they're what, what I know that I'm, I'm gonna like. That's mm -hmm. what I'm craving. You know what he wants most? A salad. I love a good salad, man. There ain't <laughs> nothing wrong with that. I don't know why people make fun of me about that. Salads are good, bro. They're light, they're refreshing, they're crisp. It's I like, like it. playing Russian roulette with your guts. It's, it's just fiber. <laughs> Sometimes we need a good flushing. <laughs> Is there carrot strips on top? <laughs> We're getting a little too personal here. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not comfortable with this anymore. All right, wrap it up. Anyways, with all that being said, sound off below and let us know what you think about the Air Jordan 4 White Thunders. And also, which do you prefer, ravioli or tortellini? Also, red sauce or white sauce. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. We greatly appreciate it. Again, last day to order these bad boys. So if you haven't done so already, head over to Sense Apparel before it's too late. And with that being said, we will catch you guys on the next one. So until then, y'all have a good one.